Brother Anthony. We're in uh, what I call, uh, I don't know what I call it. We're in a, we're, we're in a season here. Here's the season. Uh, in January, in the middle of January, they have uh, the uh, birthday of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You know, then, and then of course, he, he, he was assassinated in, in, uh, in April, you know. And then in, in the middle of February, we have the assassination of Malcolm X, uh, El Haj Malik El Shabazz, and he was uh, born in May. So you see, this is like a season of these two uh, great uh, uh, icons. Well, I won't say icons. I don't like that thing. But uh, great, 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 great men, great fighters for the liberation of, of, of or the changing of circumstances of, uh, of, uh, of folks on the planet. Not just black folks. Everybody thinks it's black thing, but it's gone from there. But when I look at the thing, see, okay, I have to admit. Let me just say, uh, I'm I'm in the uh, what we call the uh, the Malcolm, you know, the Malcolm sect or the Malcolm, I'm a Malcolmite, you know, I'm an unrequited Malcolm, follower of Malcolm X, you know, I'm not too much into, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King, you know, no, a lot of things he said is cool, especially near the end, you know, of his, of his, uh, of his life. But I don't want to look, I don't want to compare the two. I look at the followers. I'll give you an example. Uh, now Martin Luther King, you know, one of his followers, you know, associate, as he said, near the end, was uh, Jesse Jackson, you know. Reverend Jesse L. Jackson. Now, when you look at his, his what, uh, what's happened since his passing and, and what Jesse has done, well, the record speaks for itself. You know, remember they went to integration, whatever happened. Uh, let me tell you a little story, this is funny. One of the things that Jesse would do is, is, is uh, protest uh, against Coca-Cola. And then at some particular point, Coca-Cola gave one of his sons a distributorship. That's a lot of money. And lo and behold, that sort of diminished. I'm not saying, I'm not just saying, you know, look it up, speaks for itself. Now let's look at a follower of a close associate of Malcolm X, uh, A. Philip Bell. You know, he was there, you know, up on Portland and everything like that, near the end of his life, he barely was there. He, on the other hand, continues the legacy. You see, he's a professor and a historian, amazing cat. In fact, I've, I've, I've and put him up on YouTube and stuff like that. So if I, and let's, I don't want to deal with the children right now, but even the children, if you look at, you know, what they're doing, whatever have you, a lot of times, uh, well, let me cast any disparities on, on Martin Luther King Jr. because everybody just loves him, you know what I mean? Especially, uh, 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 let's say, the forces that were against him, they just love him to death. <laughs> but Malcolm, his legacy is kind of different. Of course, it's one of continuing struggle against oppression, against, you know, or let's say for liberation. Remember, uh, at the end, uh, Malcolm was more of an internationalist, you know, uh, and, and of course Martin Luther King was going towards that too, you know. So I think it's kind of interesting, you know, what happens, you know, at, 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 at the followers, let me put it that way. In fact, I just read someplace, in England, there's a MXM, the Malcolm X movement. You know, so things like that will keep on happening. And, and remember, the um, let's say the powers that be, they can't really co-op Malcolm too much. Well, they, how are they going to co-op Malcolm? They can co-op Martin Luther King. You know, even even like say this statue they had Martin Luther King in Washington D.C. They have they had Malcolm. Let me show you. And then Malcolm, they have Martin Luther King. He's got his arms folded like this. Well, that's not an opening for you know what I mean. This is a big sculpture, a memorial to him, and he just looked like, that's not a good image of, of Martin Luther King to me. Now, I could be wrong, you know what I mean? Well, anyway, <clears throat> I just bring all this stuff up just to say, I think you should, people should really look at who, who not only the, 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 the leader, but it's really the followers. Because for a movement, movement does not depend on the leader. It depends on the followers. When I look at the followers or people that profess to be, you know, in the camp of Dr. Martin Luther King, I look at their stripe and what they're doing and what they really want. It's not good for humanity. But when I look at the followers of Malcolm X, the continuing followers of Malcolm X, I'm into that. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because we're in this season, you know, the Martin Malcolm seasons, <laughs> every year. 
And I actually can't really separate the two. Well, you can, but you, know, you, you see what I mean. So and this is just one of those dispatches from the art director emeritus. Uh, that would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. 